Hey, what is up guys? It's Nate, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find all of the pages of Geob's Opus while you're in the Soul Cairn. Alright guys, the 8th page of Geob's Opus is actually found just inside of the Soul Cairn here. You can see the entrance there. And once you get down here, uh, you're going to see this little area on the right here. It'll have two blue uh, like target type deals. You're going to need to shoot both of those with either a spell or an arrow. And then it will open the cage door and you'll just go in here and the page will be laying on the ground. From the first page you found, we're going to take a left down here and follow along the road here. And then we're going to kind of cut off um, right here and go into this tower on the right. And then the uh, page 6 of the Geob's Opus will actually be right here on the ground in front of this chest. Alright guys, and then from page 6, what we're going to do is we're going to turn left and continue down the road here just a little bit, not too far. And then we're going to make a left right here past this wall. And then we're going to go to this little um, building right here. And we're just going to go straight through it, um, through the other side. And there's going to be a little, uh, kind of like a little mini fort right here, I guess. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top here. Uh, just be careful there's this thing it likes to suck the life out of you so you just got to be quick about it and right here on the ground in front of this chest is the page number three of Geob's opus all right guys and then we are going to start from where page three was and then we're going to go back towards the actual road but we're not going to get on the road what we're going to do is we're going to go past this little opening in the gate right here or the wall rather and we're going to follow along the wall here until we get to um, a little staircase here. And on our left here up the staircase, there's going to be the first page of the Jeeb's Opus right here. All right guys, once we've found that one, what we're gonna do is we're going to travel along the wall again, but this time back towards the gate. And we're actually gonna go through the gate here this time. And then we're going to turn right here and go over to the guy with the carriage here. And uh, you don't have to talk to him to get this next page, but he does have it laying right here on the barrels. Alright guys, and then once we've found that one, we're going to turn around and we are going to continue straight this way. So just follow me. Alright guys, and then once you get up to this building right here, what you're going to need to do is go inside. Once you go inside, you're going to need to work your way through the maze here. Uh, turn right, and then turn right again. And then you're going to go through here. Turn left, turn left, or turn right, and then turn left again, and then left. And you're going to go all the way to the end here, and then turn right, and you'll hit this little uh, portal here. gonna go through it and then the jeeps opus will be right under this giant crystal thing right here um, behind this chest so all right guys so we've actually went back to the wagon over here just as like a point of reference but what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn left here and go around this building and then you're just gonna follow me Alright guys, and then once you reach this point, what you're going to do is you're going to have a couple of enemies around here, you're going to kill them, and then the uh, paper is just going to be right here on the ground, in front of the shield. Alright guys, we're at the castle entrance, we're going to be using this as a reference point, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn right, and then we're going to travel east, and if you'll just follow me, I'll take you right there. Alright guys, once you come up to this tower right here, what you're going to do is turn left here and uh, keep going straight uh, and you'll come upon this shrine looking thing right here and you're just going to go up the stairs. Once you do that, it will be on this pedestal right here and then the Jeeves Opus will be right here on the ground. 
Alright guys, we're at the entrance to the castle again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn right and go along the wall right here. Alright guys, and you're gonna come upon some ruins that look kinda like this. And you're just gonna go up the stairs right here. And once you get to the top, you're gonna go right here and then go up these stairs and the uh, page will be right here on the floor. Alright guys, and our last page of the Jeeves Opus is actually going to be really close to the castle here. What we're going to do is go to the entrance of the castle, we're going to turn left here, and then we're going to go through this room right here. And there will be a chest just chilling right here in front of this stone wall. And then the Jeeves Opus page will be right in front of that chest, and you're just going to grab that. And then you found all of the pages, and we will return to Jib. Alright guys, once you've uh, gotten all of Jib's pages, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to him you and tell him you've got all of the pages. These pages meant the world to me. Now, to make it. Oh, wait a minute. A pristine copy of my first book. And take this as well. See, as Saint Jib has ascended to pure spiritual form, I won't need it any longer. Alright, and then you'll get the uh, Jeeves Opus book and then an amulet. Uh, maybe it'll show it in the top left once it gets rid of all of my... Uh, actually, you know what? We'll just go to apparel here. Yeah, Lock of St. Jeeves. It increases your carrying capacity by 50 points and your stamina by 50 points. And then we will also get a uh, St. Jeeves Opus. It's, it's just a combination of all of his uh, pages that we just found. But um, that's all I've got for you guys today. I thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you, please leave a like and or subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out my channel for more videos like this one.